wow, I didn't expect this, that this one single black pencil right here can create an entire portrait alone. Just this one pencil. And do you know what this pencil is? This is the black pencil of the Faber-Castell polychromos. So watch this tutorial because here is how I exactly did it. Just keep in mind that uh, it's going to be different than just a, a, a charcoal pencil and graphite pencil because this is a colored pencil so it will uh, behave differently on paper compared to the charcoal and the graphite. So the general rule to be able to create realistic portrait with this one single black colored pencil is of course what you should do also on a regular colored pencil on a regular colored pencil like uh, you should keep everything sharp uh, it's important to always keep your pencil your colored pencil sharp and you layer extra um with lesser pressure because you don't want to to make it rough because uh, colored pencil has the tendency to be rough in terms of the layering so uh, you should really be able to layer it slowly with lesser pressure compared to the graphite or the uh, charcoal pencil so and it blends a little bit differently as well uh, so you don't need to blend while you are layering like what i'm doing right here i'm just uh, layering it directly on paper and i'm not going to be using any blenders not yet because uh well as you can see right here, this pencil is so amazing compared to graphite and charcoal because with graphite and charcoal, you will be needing lots of different grades of pencil, uh, different softness, different hardness, different uh, level of uh, darkness. That's why you will be needing lots of graphite or lots of charcoal grades to be able to create a single portrait. But hopefully, uh, I will be able to uh, share with you on this particular portrait. I, don't, I hope you don't skip because uh, I'm going to show you uh, step by step how I'm uh, doing this. So I'm starting it with layering. I, and you know what? What I, I observe about this uh, black polychromos, I cannot speak with other black colored pencils or like Prismacolor or whatever. I'm, I'm just totally uh, explaining to you my experience on this particular pencil, which is the black Faber-Castell polychromos. And by the way, the paper that I'm using right here is the uh, Strathmore colored pencil paper. So uh, yeah, so uh, I'm laying very smoothly and uh, what I was saying a while ago is that I'm using just one pencil but what's good about using this black polychromos is that you don't need uh, lots of grades of pencil like what you normally would with graphite or charcoal because here you can achieve several degree or level of darkness depending on the pressure that you put or that, that you apply on paper. So if you want like like if you want to achieve an H grade, a lighter grade, you just layer very extra um, less pressure. Um, and then if you want to achieve like a B grade tone, then you apply a little bit more of pressure. If you want to achieve 3B uh, level of darkness, you can do it by just uh, playing around with the different um, pressure that you put on, uh, on paper. So, the, the, your hand is really important with this kind of uh, style or technique using just one black colored pencil um, because you can achieve several tones. It's, it's really amazing. I'm really amazed. As you can see right here, on the, the majority of the face, I'm using a very light pressure because I wanted to achieve light tone. And then on some parts, I want it a little bit darker and then I add a little bit of pressure and then hard pressure like uh, for the eyes. As you can see, all those dark uh, shadows right there, I put a heavier pressure on those parts which is amazing it's really nice to uh, because if you use graphite for example if you use b even if you even if you uh, add heavy pressure you won't get as dark as you wanted to, to to be as dark so you you will be needing like a 6b an 8b or even a 12b or even if like charcoal for example you can use uh, a le um what do you guess you can use the, a hard charcoal but it, it will still be too too dark for like if you want something very light skin tone uh, the charcoal cannot be tamed to, to, to make it uh, what you called it lighter so this is what um, I love about this uh, particular color pencil the black polychromos because you can just play around with the degree or the softness or the darkness of the shadow and surprisingly if you layer it very lightly the, the layering is going to be smooth as you can see right here i'm not yet blending i'm not using any blender a brush or i'm not using a tortillion or i'm not using a tissue uh, to blend the skin tone um, up to this uh, stage right here but uh, i love how it uh, really captures 
the, the the intensity of both the graphite or rather the, the intensity of the charcoal and then the softness of the graphite so uh, it's like uh, uh, two in one this pencil is like a combination of graphite and charcoal because you can go very dark as you can see in the shadows uh, like uh, around the face uh, beside the neck those very dark shadows uh, it can achieve those kind of darkness which i really really love and this is something exciting i, I really if you cannot afford a set of a polychromos because it's going to be very expensive just look for an open stock and buy the buy this black just the black if that's what you can afford and uh, yeah with this just one pencil i can uh, assure you that you can create a very nice portrait it's it looks different as well compared to the graphite and the charcoal it looks a little bit more expressive but uh, at the same time realistic i'm trying to use it um, I can use it like more an expressive side, but uh, now what I'm doing is a realistic uh, style for just this one pencil and I'm loving it. I hope uh, you can see how it really uh, captures the, the, the three-dimensionality and the, re the realism of, uh, of a single portrait like here. Uh, here on the clothes, for example, where her clothes are pure white, but you can just create th this subtle light tone of the shadow for the dress and it really captures the like the white dress so now um i, I decided to blend some parts so i'm gonna be using this uh, blender right here this uh what, what do you call this blender paper blender right here to blend uh, some of the dark and the mid tones to just uh, make sure that everything is going to be soft and th this uh, shadow under her neck is quite dark so i'm gonna blend it with this uh blender right here blending stump to make it even darker as you can see uh the blending stump uh, darkens even more the the shadows that uh, and at the same time it blends and makes it very very smooth so i really love it because it's it's very easy to control compared to charcoal pencils and it's a lot quicker to use compared to graphite so that's what good about this and then i'm gonna be using also this um uh, q-tips or this uh, what the cotton buds to blend the lighter the lighter tones right here because i want to keep it light i don't want to make it too dark and then tissue lastly i'm gonna use soft tissue to just uh, uh further the blending and the smoothness of the skin tone which as you can see right here i really love how uh, the, the shadows are um, really uh, done with this black one black polychromos so this is so exciting and then i'm using this soft makeup brush to blend uh, some parts of the hair and what i like about this is this is also very erasable uh, I, I was expecting that it's going to be hard to erase because it's colored pencil, but it's, it is. It's so easy to erase for the highlights of the hair and some parts of the skin as well. So you, I'm using this Mono Zero Eraser to erase and to make the hair more realistic. I, I'm so happy how quickly I made the hair as well. So this black polychromos, I encourage you to try this. This is something new. This is something very exciting to try. So thank you so much for watching.